What are some good internet rabbit holes to fall into during this time of quarantine? Here link. Com slash wiki slash 96022 slash aspects pep is a list of a couple hundred small homestead skills to build. Make a mallet with a branch and a hatchet. A bit of sewing. Make an adobe brick with mud from the backyard. Sharpen knives and tools. Dry some food. Equals ZDITED to fix typus. Good one. I'm going to go though that and see what I can do. I thought reading about the Death Valley Germans link. Off the hand. Org slash homepage slash search and rescue slash the hunt for the Death Valley German slash was super interesting and took a good few hours to read and do my own Razirka did if it's asking for a login slash password. That means the site is overwhelmed. I know it's frustrating, but I didn't realize it would get this much traffic. Try again in an hour or two and it should be fine. Cannot recommend this one enough. I'd never heard of them until Reddit. A harrowing tale of how smart sensible folks find themselves out of their depth, but only after the point of no return. How easy it is to go missing. Yes, this is an absolutely fascinating rabbit hole, starting with a reddit break in the restroom. I continued reading and reading for hours about them. Fascinating study and the guy who broke the case has a great in depth. Easy to read right up of it, that is linked in the top comment. Highly recommend. Also related is the case of Geraldine Lagay, who stepped off the Appalachian Trail to go to the bathroom, got lost and was never found alive. I recommend the book, When You Find My Body, The Disappearance of Geraldine Lagay on the Appalachian Trail which details the story as well as the fantastic search and rescue efforts that were made. There's a 52 page preview available on Google if you want to check it out first. The Rotten Library. Rotten com slash library has an archive of essentially a pre-wikipedia with hand written articles on weird stuff cults murders etc it's cross-linked so it's easy to get lost it's a relic of when the web was just scattered information with no real way to find it the rotten library was my teenage introduction to so many oddities that today get reposted on reddit every few months at it found a mirror rotten library mirror link Gwen net slash docs slash rotten com slash library slash index html same i spent so many hours on rotten com in my teens my mum and i were obsessed with it opened my mind to a world of stuff i would have been banged from the computer if either of my parents knew i was on rotten especially since i thought the fuck of the month submissions were so interesting at like 12 years old the family that couldn't sleep, I believe even the Vatican are involved in housing them and trying to come up with a cure. Link. CNN. Com slash 2017 slash 09 slash 19 slash health slash fatal insomnia family curse something's killing me slash index. Well for 200 years a noble Venetian family has suffered from an inherited disease that strikes their members in middle age. Stealing their sleep. Eating holes in their brains and ending their lives in a matter of months. In Papua New Guinea, a primitive tribe is nearly obliterated by a sickness whose chief symptom is uncontrollable laughter. Apostrophe. I Ike. Laughing death or laughing sickness in Papua New Guinea is called Kuru disease. It's a disease caused from eating human remains. Particularly the brain. Something to do with a protein which broke down nervous tissue after being eaten. Prions are scary as shit. They can survive extreme temperatures, pressures, acids and strong bases like nothing. The recommended method of destroying them is putting them under intense pressure, heat and exposing them to very strong acids and detergents all at the same time for multiple cycles. This is obviously not possible in the human body so there are no effective treatments. They can remain infectious for years outside of a host and not even ionizing radiation affects them. My saved posts on reddit take the time to go back through them and act in some way that reflects why you saved the post in the first place. It's fap time. Saved posts for porn. Saved comments for insightful or helpful stuff. If you're into music, there are a ton of great channels on YouTube. Rick Beto does a lot of music and song analyzes. Alex Ball has done some documentaries about Roland and the Prophet synthesizers. All really interesting history and information. True Cuckoo is a dude who has a ton of videos about synthesizers, drum machines and jams. 
Not to mention tutorials. There's so much that you can learn. I started with guitar and recently I got into synths and drum machines and Yatab is a great place to get to learn from plenty of talented people. I missed a ton, but I guess you can do the exploring yourself. Take a look at Adam Nailey, if you're into music theory stuff, that channel blew my mind when I discovered it. My 90s TV link. My 90s TV. Com slash. This is a fun. Novelty website where you can easily lose yourself for hours with nostalgia. Basically it uses Yatub videos to simulate watching TV in 90s and allows you to specify the year you want, along with what categories you want to see when you change channels. There is also a backslash za zero left square bracket my 80s TV link. My 80s TV com slash backslash za zero and backslash za zero a backslash za zero left square bracket my 70s tv link my 70s tv com slash i love the old html look absolutely brilliant and nostalgic at the same time remember when websites had music playing automatically when opened i love the old html look make the internet text based again so go to Wikipedia and pick a country and look at a history of their leaders. Can be interesting to see a list of them and the politics behind it especially African countries cause fear wild how often they switch and for why. In English class I had a project on the War of the Roses. Then we read a man for all seasons. So I've been frequently visiting the list of English monarchs Wikipedia page. TV Tropes You'll suddenly start to refer scenes in movies as wow what a tearjerker and your whole family will hate you. But god is that website so fun to lurk. It's a terrible website. I hate it, that I love it. Seriously. As rabbit holes go this is one of the best. On YouTube. I have been viewing this channel named Horror Stories. It's a collection of short but brief real life horror stories of people who died in the most horrible, unimaginable, and unsuspecting way. No click baits. On point storytelling. Mr. Nightmare is also pretty good at real life scary stories. He has a great voice for telling scary stories and makes good use of stock images and stock video to create atmospheric visuals. Mr. Nightmare is my favorite. But if you like that then you might enjoy Corpse Husband. The stories aren't the same, but they are true horror stories and most are stock images and such. But sometimes he does animated videos which are really good, because the animation is dark and creepy which is perfect for the stories. Chris Chan, a comprehensive history edit. Guys this blow up holy shit. Shout out to Genosamul 2. One for making a killer series. Another good one is Jason Genova and the Del Rey Misfits. Jason Genova is kinda like the bodybuilding Chris Chan. The Del Rey Misfits is more general and Jason is a recurring character in a wide and vast array of people who are all a little off that workout at the same gym. I recently tried to get into the whole Jason Genova thing after seeing a few videos visiting the sub. After about 10 minutes reading I just felt like I wasn't scratching the surface and wouldn't get to grips with the whole saga. Has anyone made like a documentary or some shit? Maybe you could find out what's on the second page of Google. There's a second page. It's known as the dark web. I've been getting into reading about quantum mechanics. I figure if the quarantine lasts a year or two I still won't understand any of it. One professor at my uni said, if someone tells you that they understand quantum mechanics, they don't. Apostrophe. He was quoting Richard Feynman. If you think you understand quantum mechanics, you don't understand quantum mechanics. Apostrophe. Try researching the dupe and family. Not the medical field. Innovative part. But the fucked up evil incest haunted house parts. It's hard to find info because billionaires control everything but it's there. Link. Link. Comthis Maniac has an article on it. Warning. This person is completely insane. And for entertainment purposes only. Science channels. From entertaining to informative. Science channels have been my favorite types of channels to binge. Source is one of the best at this. Backyard Scientist. Mark Rober. And Slombo Guys to name a few. And if you're up to a mental challenge. Go for really heady. Concept. Theory laden channels like PBS Spacetime and Quantum Gravity Research. 
Cause just act is also very good. Yes, they just released one on coronavirus bit. All their videos are fantastic. Modern Russian history. Start reading about Rasputin, and then go from there. Good stuff. Ra Ra Rasputin Dancing Queen. Russia's greatest love machine. Link. Can Academy. Org slash link. Can Academy. Org slash. I recommend this, because it's become obvious that part of the problem right now is how many people didn't do well in school, me included. Big part of why I love this site, or did not have the opportunity, and thus tune out valuable information they don't understand. I wish more people took advantage of the fact that scholastic information is free, or close to it. Just gotta look for it, online nowadays. Before the internet you had to be lucky enough to afford education, and live in a place where that kind of opportunity was available. Most people in the past didn't get to change their future as easily as we can. My father's hope as a kid in the 70s was to, one day, be rich enough to have other people go to the library and find out things for him. Google's a fair bit cheaper. Haha. <laughs> Indeed. I love the library. My go to speech to people is look, I'm a peasant right now, and in the past, I'd have to come across some very lucky event that made me rich for me to pull myself out of that class through education. Now everyone can. But instead we spend our time doing all kinds of dumb shit for likes on social networks. Apostrophe. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.